Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot. We're getting right into your reading today. If you guys don't know, there's a full moon in Virgo that started yesterday, Friday, and I can see already Taurus, you are getting the clarity that you needed to heal. It's like you're finally letting your guard down. All of our energy is the page of swords. As you're doing this, someone is watching you and there's movement there's movement on coming forward and balancing things out with you i feel like you're going to reject this person could be dealing with the cancer or a scorpio here but someone is definitely keeping their eye on you this person is very prideful in your connection they always thought that you would be around and you're like uh, -uh. nope so what's your message for this four moon in a virgo yep the energy is definitely gaining momentum here because as you can see these two major arcanas aren't playing around this person is coming towards you. A new romantic cycle begins here and adjustments are required. So it's just telling me that you're going to take this person back if they adjust, you know. I feel like you got the clarity. You walked away. You feel like they were playing games, not opening up, hiding their true emotions. And they're coming in, Libra energy, to balance things out. They, they're going to ask you out. Death card, Scorpio energy, the Sun card in reverse, Leo. It's like they're disappointed that they let you down and, 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 and they're tired, like... They're tired of waiting here. Yeah, this moon is pushing them to to, to figure out why they always um, have this pattern in these relationships. I feel like this person knew that this was going to happen to us. Yeah, lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation with this full moon. But this person was a runner in relationships. They always cause endings here. We have relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. And it's like this person is no longer wanting to hide from this, you know, but they feel like right now you don't trust them, but their intentions are fantasizing, watching you about, you know, thinking about this Santa Cups, this white picket fence here. But again, they're not expressing their emotions. They're not taking action. For some of you, you're going to move on and a new romantic cycle is going to begin. This is why that energy is um, gaining momentum here. We also have the star card, Aquarius energy. With the Ace of Swords, the Six of Swords. Yeah. They're coming in to clear the air. Of how it's, why it took them so long to come forward. They were trying to come out of this regret and anger. So they had to go in hermit mode to get out of this defensive mode over, over losing you. It really hurt their pride and ego that you were like, you know what? No more. You trust your intuition and was out. Because if you're going to keep playing mind games with me, I'm going to keep thinking you're a player and I'm going to fall back here. And this person realizes that, you know, they were taking, taking, taking Six of Pentacles, not giving. And they realized what they could potentially have with you. So we have 10, 10, angel number, 10 of cups, 10 of Pentacles. Look that up and take what resonates from that angel number. Clarify the three of Pentacles. Yeah. They're hesitating on coming forward because they feel like you completely moved on, which is why that temperance energy is here and why their spirit guide is pushing in to come forward. I kind of want to see what are their intentions. Let's just stop from the reading for a minute. What are their intentions? Judgment in reverse, karmic lessons here, giving you the justice. Oh, shit. Giving you the justice that you deserve and offer. They love you. They're in love with you. Wow. They're going to work on this. Oh, okay. Their intention is coming in like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, bro. You, you, you see this cup? <laughs> this is what I'm giving to my Taurus energy. I'm done with the bullshit. I'm leaving the bullshit in the past here. And they're saying, Taurus, like, I know your guard is up over what happened, but I'm intentional about this new beginnings with you. They want to take you out. They want to have fun. I feel like this is going to come in super fast here because look at this damn energy. This Ace of Cups, they are not playing around. Oh, my God. Look at Judgment in Reverse for Justice. This is them. Sorry, I'm talking a mile a minute because, oh, my goodness. <laughs> this hasn't happened in a while. They have learned their spiritual lesson here. This is your justice. is. We're seeing your justice literally being served. So, okay. <laughs> Clarify the Knight of Swords again. Yeah, new beginnings here. Beautiful commitment, love. Anything else for my Taurus? <sighs> second chance. Yeah, hell yeah, this relationship deserves a second chance. This person is not playing around here. Don't dismiss the red flags. You and this person don't share the same vision. Yeah, that was in the past. But this is a destined partnership that was passed. You can be completely open with this person. Spirit is saying this is literally 
your person. I'm gonna just take some some flame messages. I didn't get that, but Spirit is telling me to pick up from this deck. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. You are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. I don't think I can take your action right now. Yeah, because they feel like you're still pissed. Am I good enough for you? But their intentions are coming in to pour out their heart. It might, yeah, we have the two of wands reverse. I was going to say two weeks. Funny how that, that came out. Um, two more months for some of you. I'm going to pull a, a, a timing card to see when this person is going to open up. But you're destined to be, so I wouldn't even worry about it. To a Raphael, yeah, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits don't give up. Your spirit, your spirit is not going to give up on this person. And then likewise. So wouldn't even worry about it. What is the time frame when this person is going to come forward for my Taurus? Time frame? It's not the right time. We know that. In the near future. Yeah, I'm getting a few more weeks. It's, action is going to happen. Right now, this person has to get over being Saudi over losing you. <laughs> Anything else that they're hiding that they want to tell you? regarding past or future i bury myself in work to forget you yep you are the best thing in my life and i hate who i really am from you i wish things could be different i left when i saw you with someone wow this could be when they were like watching you they probably saw you walk out with someone it could have been a family member they were about to pull up on you and say something but you know it's not the right time which is why i'm not surprised where did it go <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I am not, This person's energy is making me frantic. Not the right time. I love you when I saw someone. Meditate and contemplate. I think that already came out. Nothing yet is set in stone. Yeah, time to breathe out. This is going to happen. Divine timing, Taurus, all right? Yeah, someone's energy is all over the damn place. Look at this. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull one more card from Archangel Michael. Any other advice? Because this is beautiful energy that's coming out. New beginnings, yeah, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past, 10 of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others, this was face down, you don't know how hard it was to let you go, I couldn't let you get close to me, alright, yeah, alright, I'm gonna leave it there guys, have a wonderful week.